Hey everybody, it's done got too hot to fish, so I got the kids out here squishing cicada shells. I don't know if it's something y'all do in the city, but it's a thing out here amongst us poor rednecks, especially with the kiddos. What happens is uh, the cicadas crawl up out of the ground and hook on to trees and molt. They, they, they shed their skin and then crawl up in the trees and sing and do, you know, grown up stuff and leave behind these dry, crispy exoskeletons that that the kids around here just love to pick up and squish. My my daughter called them lucky bugs. She's pushing 17 now. She still can't walk past one without picking it up and squishing it. So that's what we're doing today. Connor's out here running around looking for these cicada shells and giving them to Cap and he's squishing them. I'll show you. <laughs> hey, tell me what you're doing. I'm squishing it with my my hammer. You're squishing them with your hammer. Yeah. Stop. It really is a good time to squash these things, especially with the little kids. But we're gonna try to take it to the next level. I've listened to these bugs sing in the summer my whole life, but I've never seen one molt. And we've read up on it. And from what I understand, you could come outside and look around the base of the trees where you find the shells right as it's starting to get dark and catch them crawling up out of the ground. Then you very gently catch one, take it inside and, and let it hook onto something and, and watch it molt. It, from what I've read, it takes two or three hours and it's, it's kind of a fun process to watch. And then you bring them outside and turn them loose. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait on it to get dark and we're gonna see if we could find one that hasn't molted yet just so we could watch it shed its skin. All right, it took some doing, but we found one right here, and we brought it in and put it on uh, this cot. It's yeah. it's a little bit after nine o'clock now. Another one. Now, so I don't what think cats. Here, we're, gonna, we're gonna watch him shed out from his skin. Watch him. He'll he'll come out and have wings. What wings? Well, he's got to come out first. But I don't think Cap's gonna make it through the whole process. Uh, he's gonna have to go to bed here in a minute. Me and Connor might stay up and watch him. I don't, don't know. Do that in the Depends on how long room. it takes. This is an all night process. Neither one of us might make it and there may be a cicada loose in the house come morning. What we're gonna do now is just put a time lapse camera on him and, and watch him go. It took about two hours. It's 11.15ish right now. Connor, he made it through it. Uh, Cap, he had to go to bed, but that's all right. He spent all afternoon squashing the shells and running around trying to help me find one that hadn't molted yet. But when he gets a little older, we'll, we'll probably try it again because it was just overall a pretty cool experience. I'd never seen one come out of the shell, and I just enjoyed it. It was, it was kind of slow. You have to have patience. It, it was about like watching paint dry, but it was neat. We got him put back on the tree. We 
we picked them off of so all should be good i sure appreciate y'all watching if you want something cool to do with your kids uh give it a try you can find them out here close to the ground anywhere you find their shells just come out there right at dark and and look for them you'll see them crawling up the trees and uh a side note if you don't want to turn them loose they they do make pretty good fish bait just about everything that swims likes to eat those things so that's about all i got i appreciate y'all watching again and and we'll catch you next time.